So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing another kind of like anti-haul video, but this one's gonna be different because these are things that I avoid purchasing year round because of my body type. These are things that I've either purchased in the past that I know do not look good on me or that I've never purchased because I just know that it's something that doesn't look good on my specific body type based on like, you know, what it is that I like to accentuate in my body and what it is that I like to hide. So these are just like styles of clothes that I avoid purchasing, I guess. So if you guys are interested, just keep watching. So a little bit about my body. I don't know what my body like type is. I don't know what category I fit under. If we're talking about measurements, I guess that I fall somewhere between upside down triangle and hourglass shape because my waist is like over 10 inches smaller than my hips and butt area and my shoulders. But my shoulders are, I think, a little bit wider, like a tiny bit wider than my hips. So I do not have the world's most prominent hips ever, but I do still have hips. Like they're not like completely straight. So I'm not like a complete upside down triangle, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I just know that when I look at myself in the mirror, I know the things that I want to accentuate and I know the things that I want to hide. And that is why I avoid the things that I'm going to talk about in this video. So obviously, you know, if you have a body type that is similar to mine and you are somebody who likes any of these things that I'm going to talk about, please do not take anything that I'm going to say to heart. You know, everybody can pull whatever they want off. This is just my opinion. These are just things that I just do not think look good on me. So please take everything that I'm saying with a grain of salt. Because of my body type, I like to cinch my waist whenever possible. So the first thing that I always avoid purchasing are straight fitting dresses. If it's not something that I can cinch somehow, I just avoid it at all costs. So if I do go for a straight fitting dress, I try to make it like an oversized fit so that I can really cinch it at the waist. But if it's something that is just very straight fitting and it's not necessarily like super oversized, but it's not like very tight either and cinching it just wouldn't look good, I avoid it. Something that I love the way that it looks on other people are like shirt dresses. I have purchased those. I do not mind those, but I can only wear them if I cinch them. I don't think they look good on me if they aren't cinched. And if I do go for a dress that I'm not going to cinch, I like baby doll dresses or something that's like a lot baggier as opposed to something that's very straight fitting because I'll just look like some kind of rectangle. Next, I've talked about this before. You guys know how much I like high-waisted pants, jeans, shorts, everything high-waisted. And the reason why is because my waist sits evenly between my boobs and my hips. So it's not that I have like a higher waist in proportion to like my torso. It sits in the middle, but since my torso is longer, it's still high. So I avoid a rise that is below like 10 inches. That is like my cutoff point. I don't think I can do anything below 10 inches. I think that's already like mid rise. I'm not sure, but I, I don't know. If it's not high waisted, I don't feel comfortable. And it's not just like in the way that it looks, it's in the way that it feels. I'm very used to wearing high waisted things now. I'm very comfortable and I feel a lot more confident, you know, when I'm sitting and everything, if I'm wearing something that is high-waisted. So I avoid low-rise jeans and a lot of mid-rise jeans as well. I cannot see myself going back to low-rise jeans. Speaking of cinching at the waist and pants and things, another style of pants that I really, really avoid are paper bag trousers. I know that a lot of people really like them and I think that they can definitely be pulled off by a lot of people, but for my body in particular, I do not like how they look on me because usually paper bag pants, they add like an inch or two to your waist. And yes, the majority of them do cinch you because a lot of them have come with belts and stuff, but the fact that it has that extra piece of fabric above like the cinching, I just don't think it looks good on me. I've tried it and it didn't work for me. So I do not purchase like paper bag style trousers or shorts or any of that anymore. So next up I have 
tight fitting mini skirts and I have nothing against mini skirts. I think they look great, but if I am going to wear a mini skirt, it has to be an A line fitting mini skirt the majority of the time. If it is a tighter fitting mini skirt. It has to be a little longer because it will ride up and my cheeks will be out in no time. I do own a couple of like tighter fitting mini skirts, but the ones that I do own flare out a tiny, tiny bit. And if they don't flare out, they're a little longer than a regular mini skirt. And speaking of clothes that'll make my cheeks come out, I avoid cut off shorts as well. I've talked about this before. They are just something that I do not think looks very flattering on me anymore. It either has to be like a longer jean short, like the ones that I normally wear on my channel that I talk about all the time, or they have to be like the rolling up kind, just longer fitting shorts or shorts that like flare a tiny bit, you know, otherwise it will ride up and my cheeks will be out. I struggle with short things, <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed by now, because again, I like high-waisted things, but my waist sits very high and then my thighs are like bigger and it just like as I walk, things just start riding up. So I just avoid cut off shorts right now. If I find some that are longer, I know a Goldie makes some longer like normal uh, shorts that aren't like the longer kind that I have. Uh, which I haven't tried, but I know they look very good. And the last thing that I avoid purchasing are very long skinny jeans, specifically. I don't really mind straight fitting long jeans and wide leg long jeans or flared long jeans. Those I feel look a lot better if they're long. You can just wear heels with them and they work very well uh, to transition to like nighttime outfits if you want to wear denim at night. But when it comes to like skinny jeans or something that's very like tight fitting uh, or even some straight leg jeans because I have like thicker legs so they could look a little bit skinny on me. I don't like it when the inseam is too long. I am 5'8", I'm taller, but I always like my ankles to show. Unless I'm wearing boots, obviously then there's no purpose of your ankles showing unless it's like for fashion. I feel like it adds a little dimension to your outfit when your ankles are showing. Obviously, you know, if you're wearing boots and you're going for like a different vibe, if it's like the winter or fall and things like that, that's different. But for the summertime in particular, I like my ankles to show. I think that it looks a little better. Your outfit looks like you tried a little harder, in my opinion, as opposed to just very very tight fitting long jeans that like go all the way down to like your heels so i normally avoid an inseam that is for taller girls even though i am tall i usually get like the regular inseam unless the regular inseam is very 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 short and it just looks like a capri pant or something on me so that is everything for this video those are a couple of things that i avoid purchasing because i just don't think it looks very flattering on me but again if you guys do have a similar body type to me or even if you don't and you like any of these things that i mentioned in this video do not take anything that i talked about personally this is just what i avoid because i don't think it looks good on me so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.